Tonight, a federal investigation targeting Palm View, and it could cost the town a lot of money. The money was misspent, and city leaders don't deny it. They're the ones who contacted the feds. Channel 5 Sierra Pizarro explains what's at stake. Depending on the outcome of the review, Palm View may owe the government over $200,000. The Palm View Director of Finance says for the small city, that would be a hard financial hit. Palm View's asset forfeiture program, city manager says, is operated by the police department. It includes taking property that was involved in crimes. The money from the confiscated property is then returned to the city. But they're in trouble right now. And we've come to discover quite a few deficiencies. They want accountability, transparency, and performance. Even if it means turning yourself in to the feds, the city hit with this notice Monday. It reads in part, the money laundering and asset recovery section determined the internal controls pertaining to Palmview's asset forfeiture program do not provide reasonable assurance that program funds are protected against waste, fraud, and abuse. Uh, they did uh, appreciate that we self-reported but they were clear that there are consequences, and, and we told them we understand that, and we offered our cooperation. Leo Olivares explains funds from their asset forfeiture program were transferred into the city's general fund. Rachel Chapa adds the federal dollars were also misused on travel expenses. They were paying for the Christmas parties, which you cannot pay for food or drink unless it's an operation expense. They were also paying for the civil process fees, and also uh, paying independent contractors without any contracts. Olivares says this is a case of clean money turned dirty. Because of the violations, the city's asset forfeiture program not only suspended, also under review by the U.S. Department of Justice. Our assets are frozen, and so we can't pay any bills with that, those funds right now. We may be dropped from the program for any future proceeds, and we may have to pay back. The city may have to pay back all these funds. City expenses affected include paying off a communication software loan for regional dispatch. Olivares, though, positive the investigation will not hurt police department activities. Our PD is responding to, to calls. Uh, the services will continue uh, without any, uh, any break in services. The fate of the city's asset forfeiture program won't be sealed until DOJ is done with their review. The city unsure of when that will be. City officials believe this mishandling of money has gone on for at least six years. We'll keep track of the story and keep you updated. In studio, Sierra Pizarro, Channel 5 News at 10.